Helping People Build Communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 190. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 190, November 13th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the consciousness lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of consciousness. Behind the scenes, we wrote the second 25% of the written part of the consciousness lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the personal growth lesson plan, bringing that to 100% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team worked on renaming our recipe pages and adding SEO descriptions on our transition kitchen pages. You can see that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued with layers of revisions for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. This week's focus was page one of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 layout, focusing on more updates to the renders and the new floor plan presentation shown here. The core team also updated all the icons for the Straw Bale Village open source hub and all the pages connected to that hub. You can see all the new icons here. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 43 of his work, continuing to evolve the external details and finishing with this final render of the back view looking southeast. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 16th week helping evolve the compressed earth block village Pod 4. This week's focus was adding a north exit and patio area to the north living space layouts and beginning modeling the large-scale bathroom details in Revit. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued with 3D earth block outdoor furniture construction for the compressed earth block village. What you see here is his 11th week of this work that focused on clarifying all the measurements for the compressed earth brick bench and beginning the layout of the earth brick labyrinth. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her sixth week of work focusing on integrating a code compliant fire road and new central and west play area designs. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, 
also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his fifth week of this work, focusing on adding laundry facilities, doorway and floor plan updates, seating, and other revisions to the standalone bathroom and shower structure. Yi Chang Ho, interior designer, also finished her eighth week of helping with the shipping container village, Pod 5 renders for the living units. This week's focus was on creating this first iteration of a maximally space efficient design that we hope to adapt to fit into one container. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued developing the Treehouse Village book. What you see here is week 14 of this work that continued with updates to the pages we will feature Jiming's new floor plans and designs once they are complete. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued render creation for the Duplical City Center. This included rendering this image for the central pool area, North View, where we updated the waterfall texture and water shape, added more plants to the living wall around the waterfall, and placed additional lights. Iris Sue, industrial designer, also continued her work on the recycled pipe shelving for the Duplical City Center Library. This week's focus was these second generation renders of the complete room and furniture, including multiple examples of different applied lighting options. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center structural engineering. This week's work focused on continuing to standardize the steel frame pieces of the dome and researching the best approach for attaching the secondary timber beams to the steel truss girders. Jin Chi Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in-depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 10th week of behind the scenes work on this area. This week's focus was continuing the research and writing process for the what and why sections. You can see some pictures of this work in progress here. Also, Jennifer Zhao, web designer, finished her 13th week of volunteering with us. Through her help, we were able to learn how we could avoid building a completely new site, and now Jennifer is helping with individual pages. You can see the beginning of this work here as she has outlined the layout for the open source pipe furniture page. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, also continued her work on the solar sizing plan, as well as her collaboration with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, designing the control and automation systems. What you see here is her third week of work on both of these tasks. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Ashwin Patil, web developer, completed his sixth week of helping with the new site design details. This week's focus was adding adjustments to the highest good food links and icons. Researching and testing a new slider plugin we'll be adding to the tops of our open source tutorial pages. And creating a tutorial for how to edit, add to, and update the search engine he's helped build for us. Luke Williamson, graphic designer, also helped create the second highest good education rough video intro. This helped us decide that icons probably aren't going to work like we'd hoped in our videos. Yuri Vite, music composer and sound designer, completed his first week of helping create the music that will accompany the new overview video we are exploring too. You can hear a clip of the fifth iteration of this music here and visit Yuri's SoundCloud for all the previous versions. The purpose of One Community is helping people build communities. Not just sustainable, self-sufficient, eco-demonstration communities, but really any type of community of people working together, cooperating and collaborating versus competing. Our goal is to open source, and what we are doing is open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations of a sustainable civilization. And we are doing this to facilitate the process of highest good thinking, collaboration, cooperation, and creation in the service of all of mankind, all life on this planet. 
Our goal is if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And our way of making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough is through open sourcing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainability. This includes food, energy, housing, as well as high school education, high school economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And ultimately, to put all these things together to demonstrate them as a sustainable and self-sufficient teacher demonstration hub called One Community, a place that people will be able to visit, experience everything that it is that we're doing, take all the aspects that they like because they're all open source and free shared, and replicate them anywhere in the world. But also, helping to build communities around the world like One Community where like-minded people can come together, work together, and if they like to join our open source highest good consciousness collaboration, to collaborate and work together with us to help create endless iterations, more and more versions of everything that it is that we're open sourcing. Creating a complete suite of open source tools, tutorials, resources covering all those aspects and continuously making it even easier, even more attractive, even more affordable. Building a complete culture based on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition and a global cooperative founded on that. Ultimately, a global cooperative of communities not necessarily teacher, not necessarily teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs, not necessarily sustainable communities, just any community working together. It might be a community that just wants to work locally uh, to help work on the high school education component, or it might be a nonprofit business model that fits in with what is it we're doing, and they want to help open source that because of the benefits of marketing that we'd be able to provide for them if they're willing to provide the open source content. Or maybe they just want to work to help open source it because they believe that open source is the path to the future and the shortest way to massive improvement and developing some idea, and one community becomes the engine for that. Our idea is to help people build communities all over the world that are interested in cooperation, collaboration versus competition, and to provide the foundations for doing exactly that. And so this is what we're doing. And we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that agree with this idea, that believe that now is the time, that would like to be a part of creating a sustainable future for everybody. And we're clearly defining that path. And we've put in tens of thousands of hours into creating what we've already created so that we can build that community for people to visit, for us to live in, and so we can take this whole process to the next level. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if it sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, we definitely invite you to get involved. We've got lots of different ways to do that, ranging from joining the team to just sharing our information on social media. We're in all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, we are on Facebook, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information because getting the word out is the path, the necessary path to reaching that tipping point of participation where we can achieve our long-term goal of positively and permanently impacting the life of every single person and living creature on this planet by shifting the global culture towards sustainability and eventually creating a truly sustainable planet. How is that possible? Through a self-replicating model. If we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate the idea of teacher demonstration hubs and this concept of helping people build communities, not just physical communities, but communities of all different types, working together and collaborating for the benefit of all life. If we can create a self-replicating model of that, self-replicating because it better meets the needs of people than the way that they are living right now, because it's better than the other options that are out there because it provides an open source and free shared option that is more attractive than alternatives because it's more affordable, because it's easier, because it's open source and free share, then that idea can spread on its own and human ingenuity can do the rest. So this is what we're doing. This is why we're putting all these things together because we see them as not only interconnected, but as interdependent. And if the goal is to create a truly sustainable planet, and that is the goal, if our goal is to positively and permanently create change in the lives of everyone living on this planet within our lifetime, a self-replicating model is needed and a model that simultaneously addresses all of the challenges because of their interconnectedness, because of their interrelatedness. This is what we're doing. 
People ask, well, what's the greatest thing that one community needs right now? Well, we're still seeking large-scale funding. Even though it's not our primary focus right now, we are still seeking large-scale funding to get the property off the market that we have identified and we've been working around focusing on for the last six years so that we can disclose the location, so we can start open sourcing the details that are necessary on the ground, so we can put people on the property and start building. This is the biggest step. In the meantime, we continue to work on the open source plans, all the do-it-yourself instructions, the website infrastructure, everything that's necessary to be able to completely open source and free share those next steps that much more efficiently, that much quick, more quickly. And that's what you see us talking about every single week is all the details working towards that because there's so much to do. But if we wanted to bring more people on faster, the easiest way to do that would be to get the property off the market, disclose the location, legitimize our project at that next level and build our team that much faster. So if you or somebody you know, know somebody that could help us with that, we would love to speak with you. Either to invest in our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to donate to us, that's what we're looking for. Our organization is 100% nonprofit volunteers. We are all unpaid volunteers. Doing this because we want to live this way, doing this because we want to see a world that is sustainable, because we believe it's the right thing to do, and because we enjoy it. This is how one community is helping people build communities around the world. And we're already a global collaboration, expanding and growing every single year. So this is what we're up to. You're definitely invited to join us if it sounds interesting. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. Uh, for all the small donations that we get, those make a big difference too. Because we're all unpaid, those donations help to cover our expenses. Thank you for all the emails that we get. Those make a big difference too because they help us to evolve and improve everything that is where they're doing. Same thing with the comments on Facebook and social media. Thank you for all the shares that people do, helping to spread the word, which is how we build our team, how we continue to evolve and grow by making our team larger and more effective. And of course, thank you for watching. Thank you for paying attention. Thank you for being a part in whatever way works best to you. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, that's a great way to help us out too by sharing via email. Get on our newsletter list. Send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We will add you to our newsletter list. And uh, as always, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.